This is my second attempt. Not fucking filming this. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another story time. Uh, this one's gonna be pretty funny because uh, when I was younger, I had the opportunity to uh, be in movies because I was a background extra, which is a background actor. Not really because I was cool or anything. Do you need a window open? It's not like you're dying. But it's because mostly because I put myself in these like weird situations. So th this is actually my top three celebrity like meets. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make the story not drag too long. Or right, here we go, number three. So when I was a teenager, I used to be a background extra, which means I had no lines. I basically filled in the areas in movies where actors were kind of walking through or whatever. That allowed me to be in different movies. And the one that we're talking about right now is called Jumper with Hayden Christensen. What into the wall? Hayden Christensen, you can look him up who he is. He, uh, if you don't know who he is, he's Anakin Skywalker from the Star Wars movies, but the uh, the ones after, like 5, 6, and 7, I think, or, or, or 1, 2, and 3. Whatever, you know what. So when I was on set, they were like, do not bother the actors. Do, do not. not talk to them. Do not bother them. Don't say anything to them. I was like, screw that. I'm on set. I'm not going to talk to them if I want to. So I went up to him, and I said to him, Hayden, <laughs> there's a girl in the holding room, in the, in the green room, that is like, over the top. She loves you. Can you just say hi to her? Oh He's like, that's fine. That's totally fine. He's really, really, like, super down to earth, super cool. Anyways, so, he, I'm like, cool, ran, grabbed him back, right? To be honest, I didn't really know who he was at the time, but I did know his girlfriend, at, like, the one he was dating was Rachel Bielsen, which is the girl that was in the OC, uh, Summer. Now, for some reason, I knew that, and because, you know. Okay, so now they're all on the same page. Actually, let me rewind a little bit. This is how I actually embarrassed myself in front of Rachel Bielsen. And it's part of the story. I was sitting, I was literally sitting in right in front of her in this like pew thing. I don't know. It's what? in the bar. She's sitting be behind me and I was like sitting in front of her. I knew she was there. So I was like, kind of like, I need to be cool. Impress her about like what I know about the show. Like just, so I turn around. I look at her. Rachel? She's like, yeah. And then all of a sudden, shit, what was I supposed to say? Something <laughs> Cool? Impress her? Impress her? Oh, what was I supposed to say? I said, um, we love you on the OC? We? I said we. 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 I was alone. I was totally by myself. It was just me and her. And I said we. Might not sound like a big deal now, but I just, I died. Start my funeral. I was so freaking embarrassed. So anyways, I turned around. She said, thanks? So I wanted to like redeem myself. Later on. Anyways, fast forward back to Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> so when I was in front of him, we were walking down this like alleyway in Toronto. And, you know, I got him to call that girl's friend on the phone. The girl was screaming on the phone. She was like, oh my God! Like just screaming, screaming. He was like really cool about it. He was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, Rachel Bielsen meets us. Like meets up with us. So here I am walking with Hayden Christensen, Rachel Bielsen, and I'm in the middle, and I'm basically apologizing to Rachel Bielsen because I acted like an idiot. So sorry. And I was, like, saying... Like, I'm really sorry. I was just really nervous. I didn't know what I was saying. I'm really sorry that I sound like an idiot. And she was like, no, honestly, like, it's totally fine. I hear, like, way worse stuff <laughs> coming from other people. <laughs> so it was, it was totally fine. She was really cool. Cool. That's it. That was my whole story for number three, okay? Here we go, number two. Number two, 1998, Intimate and Interactive on Much Music. Backstreet Boys were coming into, coming into the city. Everyone was freaking out. I mean, I wasn't freaking out. I was at home. But my girlfriend at the time was downtown, and she was in line to meet them. Like, she, like, lined up, like, all night. She slept there. She was, like, literally, I'm not even joking, she was, like, ten people away from the front of the line. So, which means she had wristbands on. Um, that means that she was, like, allowed to, like, come in and, and stand wherever she wanted, like, right in the front where they would be, like, whatever they were doing, singing or whatever, um, outside. So, she calls me up and she says, hey, I'm, like, in line for Backstreet Boys. I'm, like, that's cool. <laughs> and she's like, come down, like, you know, keep me company or whatever. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. 
So I come down, I meet up with her, and I'm like, what? That's crazy. She's literally in the front of the line. I'm like, that's wild. I'm like, okay, well, as soon as they open the gate, I'm gone. Like, I don't, I'm not going to stick around. And she's like, no, okay, yeah, whatever. All of a sudden, the line goes up. They open the line, and everyone just starts walking in. So I'm, like, following the crowd. I can't even get out of that at that moment, right? And we start all walking through the building around. And there's, like, a stage over here where it obviously is where they're going to be standing and singing. But then there's, like, uh, I see, like, an opening over there on the left where no one was. Now, picture, like, there's, like, a whole section of us that's totally empty. Now, all around all this area is, like, thousands of screaming girls. So as soon as we came in, it was just like... All right! Like, from all ends. But it was, like... It was empty. It was totally empty around us. So we had lots of space to move. Everyone else is like squished in like behind these metal fences, which is like super weird to even imagine. So I'm like, we got lots of space. Why don't we just walk all the way in that corner? She's like, why? I'm like, because if anything, the Backstreet Boys might be coming out of that entrance. Like even though they're singing on this side, you're not going to get a chance to say hi to them. They're going to be like on camera and all that shit. But if you go in that corner, at least you get a chance to maybe say something to them or whatever. She's like, oh, okay, that's a good idea. So I go over there. As soon as we get to the corner, smoke starts coming out of this doorway. I'm like, oh, here we go. So as the smoke comes out, uh, all five of them, six of them, all five of them come out from the entrance. And so I'm telling her to come this way. And I'm turning around. And as I'm turning around, the Backstreet Boys are coming right to me because I'm the first person in the corner like looking at them and so that I, like i'm not even, i didn't even really want to be there so as like the back was coming towards me i'm like okay well i might as well say hi to them so like i stuck out my hand and i'm like boom hi nice to meet you nice to meet you one after the other and i was like it's so funny because she wanted to meet them so bad as they were coming around because it was like a long thing she did say hi to them but i i, I honestly thought it was hilarious that the fact that i got to meet them like that Number one. Number one story of me meeting a celebrity. Hopefully I'm keeping you guys... Just let me know in the comments below. Number one. Oh god, this video is going to be so long. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. So basically the third movie that I'm going to be talking about is I got a chance to be in Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man is a boxing movie with Russell Crowe and it was directed by Ron Howard. Hey McAvoy! So when I was younger, I, I was hanging out with this friend of mine um, and we used to always get ourselves into the craziest stuff. So we were background actors, both of us together, and we were going on the set and our agent was like, listen, like, you know, you're stage three, which means you're shitty. Like you're up in the stands, like don't expect anything. You're not going to be on camera. Like don't even shave because we were like 16, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. And so we we're like, okay, fine. So as soon as we showed up, my friend was like, screw that stage three. No, I want stage one. I want to be right in front of the camera. I want to be like, I want to watch the movie and say, hey, look, that's me. <laughs> He was nuts. So I was like, all right, let's go. So we get there and we're looking around and all of a sudden we see the person taking our names and it said uh, stage one, stage one actors only, right? We're like, oh, stage one, that's, that's us. <laughs> so we're like, okay, stage one, let's go. So we line up. By the time we get to the front, the girl's like, what's your name? I was like, uh, I look down. And I see like, I can't remember the name was, but I see like someone's name, right? I'm like, Steve. And he's, she's like, oh, you're Steve, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, and who's this? And I was like, oh, he's with me, the same, a same agent. He's like, oh, he, is he John or whatever, or whatever name she said. I was like, yeah, that's, that's us. And he's just like, well, what did I tell, I told you guys to come clean shaven. You're going to be on camera. You need to look the part. We're like, oh, like, so sorry. We slept in, like, we... We, I don't know. We just weren't thinking this morning. She's like, okay, well, go to wardrobe and makeup. Like, get out of here. Like, you need to get into part really quick. I'm like, okay. So we, like, got our passes and, like, we just went in. And then we, like, they're shaving us. Like, I'm sitting in this chair. And they're, like, shaving us for us. And I was like, what is going on? Where are we going? All of a sudden, we go into, like, Madison Square Garden. And it's decked out. Like, 1960 or whatever era that movie was in. It looked insane. Fog. Everything was like like little crests everywhere. It was just the detail that went into this movie was absolutely insane. If you've seen this movie, I'll put a little clip right here. Have to read it in the paper, Sporty. Oh, come on! 
it was crazy, absolutely crazy. So we walk in and they're like, stage, what are you? I'm like, stage one. And he's like, okay, this way. So we went, we went down. Now we look around and we saw the people that we were with, stage three. Stage three went up, up, up in the stands. Like they were standing beside mannequins, right? Because they fill in the most of the arena with mannequins. And then once in a while they'll put like real people just to get like that movement going. So... We're like, wow, we would have been up there. And now we're third row from the ring. Okay, we're right beside the ring. They're giving us cigarettes because that's like apparently men smoked cigarettes back then. Like in the ring and I don't know, it was supposed to be like authentic era. So we're standing there smoking away and we're like, no, we want more. We want more of this action. So Ron Howard was like calling cut and you know, action, cut, action. Uh, and uh, one of the uh, assistant directors came around and said, hey, we need some people to rush the stage because this is the scene where Russell Crowe wins the match. Everyone's celebrating and like rushing the stage and this and that. And if you can get into the ring, then you can go up to Russell Crowe and con congratulate him like in person. Ding! So I was like, I'll do it. He's like, okay, go. He's like, in the little lane thing, Majiggy, I'm standing there. He's like, when I when uh, the director calls action, you run as fast as you can and get to the bottom of the stage. Once you get in the stage, you can try to get in. If you get in, you get in or whatever. I'm like, okay, fine. Ready? Action. Ding, ding, ding. Running as fast as I could. I get to the stage. I barely get on the ring because it's pretty high. And I don't make it. He's like, cut. I'm like, fuck. Right? So I go back. Back to first positions. Right back to the thing. He's like, ding, ding, ding. Action. Run as fast as you can. Get to the stage. Jump on the stage. The ropes. I get caught up in the ropes. Because I didn't know, like, whether, like, to go through the third one or the second one. So I'm like, uh... Like, I, I kind of hesitated. Nice. So I was like, shit, I should have thought of this before going in. So, boom. Back to first positions. Here we go. This is my chance. I have to make it inside. Ready? Ding, ding, ding. Running as fast as I can. I'm like literally dodging people out of my way. I need to make it there before it before they cut. Cut. I get to the ring. I slide underneath the ropes like Hulk Hogan Ult Ultimate Warrior. I stand up. I start running. All of a sudden I realize, oh shit, I'm standing in front of Russell Crowe. I might have made it a little too fast. I get up to Russell Crowe. I'm like, yeah. And he looks at me. He's like, yeah, but he's confused, like, because I'm, like, the first one there. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? I just, I don't know what to do with my hands. I just grab them by the shoulders, and I'm just shaking him. Yeah! Yeah! I'm shaking Russell Crowe. This is, like, back in the day where Russell Crowe was, like, punching people in the bar, like, just because of what, I, like, he was a hothead. I was like, this is the only time I could shake you without hurting me. <laughs> Oh my god, and all of a sudden the camera that's up right above him pulls up, right? It's like the establishing scene, right? So like the camera goes up, Russell Crowe has the belt, he looks up, he's like, yeah! And I'm like, yeah! And then I look, I look up with him, and both of us, yeah! Right to the camera. What an idiot, like that scene obviously doesn't make it into the movie because the camera is pulling away. I'm not even supposed to know there's a camera there, and he's just celebrating with his head up. But like I'm celebrating with him, like it's just me and him with a whole bunch of people around us, like as if I fought to and I'm like yeah <sighs> so yeah believe it or not those were real stories and that's crazy <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that was my meet with celebrities hopefully you guys liked it let me know in the comments below what you thought what story was the best one <laughs> let me know if you saw the movie I don't know I, you know I haven't even seen the movie so I should probably watch a movie one day see if you guys keep a vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next vlog next week. Peace out.